What's up everybody, Destroyer here. Welcome back to the Dol Amroth campaign for Third Age Total War The Divine Conquer Submod version 1.2. And this is part 3. So, let's dive back in, shall we? First of all, thank you all for your suggestions of what to, uh, what to do. Also, apparently this is pronounced Ethelond. For some reason. I don't know how to pronounce a lot of Sindar and things or what have you, so uh, you'll have to forgive me for that. But Anyway. Yeah. Also, uh, quick mention, I added a thing made by a person called El Monstero, which adds, like, basically double the amount of loading screens. So, I have 352, I think it is, loading screens now, instead of, like, 150. So, that's pretty cool. So, uh, so yeah. Well, we get to enjoy those. Anyway, let's see where we were here. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes, we were pushing out... With Sawyer from Lost. That's the guy's name. And, uh, we're gonna take Tirithoros? <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Alright, my plan, my battle plan, is to take Tirithoros, take Barad Harn, and hold there while we muster an army to destroy Umbar. And we're, of course, taking Long Gallon as well. And that's hopefully the plan. We'll see how that goes, and I'll think about taking Global Telphalos as well, because, I mean, it's pretty lightly defended, so I don't see why not. Alright, let's see what we're doing here. So, it's also been just I definitely take advantage of the free upkeep thing, which seems quite reasonable, of course. I can't remember exactly how many free upkeep things I did. Yeah, okay, I'm starting free upkeep here. I've already started this, so I'll keep that going. I guess I could just click this button. Uh, Fiefdom Barracks. Do we have the free upkeep from this place? Experience train. I believe we do. Also, trade is a good uh, good thing for Dol Amroth, so we'll look into that as well. A steward's Hall looks like a good thing to get, so let's get the Steward's Hall. The more free upkeep we can get, the better. That sounds completely reasonable. And since I've already started this, I'll keep building that. Not that. Practice range, Ballista Maker, Military Academy, Great Roads, Mines. Okay, Mines we'll probably not get until later on. Because they're expensive and they take a long time to pay off for themselves. That's obviously a fortune. But ports and stuff would be good too. As we will need a navy as well, and of course, naval trade is a big income. Alright, we're already in turn 13, eh? Okay. Well, here we go. Let's hope for the best. I don't know if the turn times will be slow or not. They seem to be going alright. I've seen faster, though. So, whatever. We'll have to make do with what we get. Because, uh... <laughs> it's as fast as it's going to get. I guess where I was testing it, though, was a lot faster, but I could be wrong. Oh, well. It is going to lengthen out the campaign a bit, though. Which kind of sucks. Oh, I had a crash. Uh, that's not promising. Okay. <laughs> Shit. This early on in the campaign, having a crash is a bit... That's not good. Hopefully that's just random. Because I ended turn again after loading it up and it works fine, so... <laughs> Hopefully everything's okay? <laughs> My new family member, that's good. Cues are stalled, of course. Alright. So these gentlemen are heading for the forts. Okay. Um, let's see. Did anything change? I think uh, I think something did change. That's building. I think after the Fiefdom Barracks, I'll go for... Not Fiefdom Barracks, that's Steward's Hall. Could go for the Fiefdom Barracks, or we should keep going for things that give us... I think we should keep going for economy. Go for. Oh, these great roads are so expensive. <laughs> it's 
It's gonna be a while before I get enough money for a great roads. Ooh, we can make some cool soldiers though. I mean, do I need these farmhand pikemen? They're probably not that good. I definitely want some Amrothian pikemen instead, if I can afford it. I can always build them, send them to the, uh, to the thing. Let's get these. What's in here? I can actually send these to here. I guess. Alright. Let's go for it. Oh, Harad owns it. Okay. Well, let's get a ram. Doesn't look like they sent much. Haraja Spearmen, Haraja Marchers. That's nothing. Shadow Mordor does not like us much now. Fair enough. Alright, I think we're ready to attack Longallan. Well, we should be more than ready to attack Longallan. I guess Mr. Vin is uh, the dude from King Arthur. So that's pretty cool. You gotta love mods. They just use like a picture from something. It's like, hey, this is that guy. <laughs> it's okay, okay, fair enough. Ooh, it's a lot of corsairs. What the hell? Territorial guardsmen, but they have the corsair logo on them. That's cool. Because territorial guardsmen are one of our troops, or, Do or Gondor's troops, aren't they? They must be using a slave camp or something like that. I love these new loading screens. They're so good. I, I've always loved like the art, the loading's like art and stuff. So loading screens are quite a nice treat. All right. I guess that'll do. Let's see. I hope I brought enough. I mean, did I bring enough troops? <laughs> Is this going to be another repeat of the other one? Oh, wasn't I sieging them out? Hmm. I think I was actually going to wait them out. <sighs> well, hopefully I didn't just fuck that up. I don't want to send my pikemen up to the... Up the wall here. We'll take you up the wall. What are these? Pikes. Ideally, pikes would be better on the ground, I think. But what else would I send? Ah! We only we don't need to use both ladders, I guess. All right. Well, whatever the case, we got some of these sweet rangers. Oh yeah! And we got our uh, archer militia. So apparently our archer militia would look like this if we upgrade their armor level. It's definitely a far cry from what they look like now. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Gondo militia. Who's got the ram? Fight for your honor. You got the ram. Okay, Mistvin. Mistvin has the rangers as well, doesn't he? Yeah. How about you? Right. Up the wall. In you go. Alright, we'll just let our rangers do their thing. Alright, let's have a look at the uh, defenses. Maybe we shouldn't go up the wall. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, they're not going to do very well, are they? There's a lot of dudes there. But then again, there are some of our archers that are there, so it might be alright. Let's go time six till we get to the gate. Let's march these forward. Javelins. I forgot about the javelins. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, we won't have them sh throw javelins yet. Not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. We're gonna take a bunch of casualties just getting over here, of course. Oh boy. Alright. I don't think I brought enough men. Oh boy. 
Well, I guess we'll see. Alright, slow this bitch down here. You get in there. Uh, the other ones, get in there. Rangers, keep doing your thing. Let me shoot those if you can. We're not using fire, are we? No. Okay. Um, hmm. If I could get these guys through, that'd be amazing. Hope that our pikes will make some space. Look at this clump. If I could just maybe. Let's try this. Set these up like that. Hang on, don't shoot with the guys there. Because this is quite the clump. We can get some javelins in there. I mean, it's a hell of an arc. But we can give it a go. I think, I think, I think we can break the gate. Where's their tor territorial guardsman, eh? Are they guarding the square? Where's the square? Oh my god, they got so many troops. No, I guess not. Oh yeah, they're there. Except they don't look like the unit card because they haven't been upgraded either. So they look like militia. Condor militia. Alright, let's see if it works. These guys don't seem like they want to fire. Let's reposition. Of course, we're going to be taking a lot of damage from that tower. These guys are out of ammo. We'll keep them out of the fight for now. Javelin, please! It doesn't look like they're hitting very well, does it? A few of them hit, I guess. That's the best I can do for now. My pikes need to get through. Oh no! They're routed. Oh dear. I kind of feel like I need to retreat. I didn't bring enough men. They've got so many. We've captured the enemy's walls. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Do I keep pushing or do I leave? Oh dear. I think there's too much for us. And look how many men they have left. We don't have a whole lot. If I pull these guys out, they're gonna get wrecked. I don't know. Let's fast forward a bit, see how they do. I'll move these back. I mean, if the pikemen actually slaughter them somehow, I guess we could just leave them to it, eh? But if our pikemen die, then uh, I guess we'll probably leave. Because <laughs> it's the only thing we have. Alright, you could probably stop now. At least we're good enough range to get out of here. Nah, we're losing too many pikes. Let's get him out of there. Right away! I'm gonna, I'm gonna tactical retreat. I made a mistake coming here. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. But with more troops. We're not losing. We're not going to lose Misfit. Not, not like this. I've already lost the general. I'm gonna do your sacrifice. Will not be in vain. I don't remember. I'm surprised I don't remember his name. To be honest, that was like last week. <laughs> We've lost half of our men. Ah, oh, that was brutal. Okay, well this Corsair town is gonna be a problem, as they seem to be just keep bringing out troops. Our army is tiring. Hiring. They're supposed to be off the map. Oh god, they're chasing us. 
Oh, they won't catch us though, thankfully. Look how many troops they have! Oh my god! Yeah, definitely made a mistake. But at least I didn't lose too much. I lost a gun to a militia or whatever. Oof. Well, the pikemen still did pretty well. 125 kills, 113. Pikes. Beasts. What is that? I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it's pretty cool. Oh, is that a ball rug? Perhaps. <laughs> Maybe. Cool screenshot, though. Or, uh... Oh, screen rather. another. Retreat! We must yield! Alright. Lundgallen is going to prove to be tricky. Alright, come back to Ethelon real quick. Set, up camp set you up with more troops. And then we'll send you back out. So we're probably going to need to retrain some guys. Unfortunately, I need... Mm, I don't have a lot of places that build troops. 19% Emerthian as well. Go for market there. Wouldn't be bad. I need my barracks, but I also need money. <laughs> That's a problem. Oh dear, I hope things go better over here. Ready your weapon. Quell this evil. That isn't done yet, okay. Well, then we won't be sieging that yet. Where'd those pikes go? Okay, they're still on their way. Oh boy, this is going to be a bit tricky, I have a feeling. We do have a nice roster of archers and such, though, to use. If I can get my Haven Guard involved, I think we do pretty well. It's just keeping them without free upkeep is going to hit me pretty hard. 425. I'm afraid to move them. <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a problem. We can definitely make more troops, though, and send them uh, over there. Coastal Wardens. How are they in melee? Three melee attack, six defense. Not amazing, but you know, they're not the worst I've ever seen. Cav isn't going to do us any good. I think really we're all about the Coastal Wardens and the uh, Amrothian troops we can get. Alright, let's uh, let's enter. I don't know how I'm going to hold Harad off. If Harad swarms me, <laughs> it's going to be tough. And of course, keep in mind, Khand is going to join the fight as well at some point. In fact, probably some point soon, I'd imagine, if I take that town. Don't they border them? I can't remember. I know Khan gets a town over there. We'll see, I suppose. But yeah, oh. <laughs> This is not, uh... Not going as well as I would have hoped. I have to take that town! Especially before Gondor does it. Because if Gondor comes back and takes I miss a town, that'll suck. I prefer to have me have it over Gondor, personally. I'm sure Gondor doesn't feel the same. Come on, Orcs of Misty Mountain, your turn is town now. There's a Harad army on the river. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Okay. That's a problem. Because he's behind me. Oh, thank you, Council. You're so generous. Edoras is sieged. And the Thillian attacked. We got Gondor Militia. Gondor Militia! Alright, so you head to this fort. As you, wish. Your will, my lord. you actually... Yeah. I send them over this way, huh? Oh, I know. Your corpse will be thrown to the dogs. What?! Their faction leader? Oh no. Black Snake Guard. They have 37 in a thing. Do I pull back and attack him? Or do I take the town? If we can kill their leader, that'd be pretty big. It wouldn't be crippling, but you know. He definitely has very high command. We do have pikes. Two things of pikemen. We have some spears as well. Uh, I could attack Tirithoros really quick and then go attack him afterwards, but I don't think I'll have enough movement points to catch him. The blood of new Unless I go after him now. Ah, I'm torn! And this will surrender in two turns. 
And if I leave some troops, then I won't have enough to defeat Chieftain Kuzamaya. Once I capture you, your title will mean nothing. Oh boy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even. I have some farmhand archers here. Great. Farmhand pikes. And some Dolom squires. Oh my god, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do. This, this is going to be a huge problem. What if I attack these guys and then hold outside? Like, if they push out, I could... Assail the enemies of Gondor! Well, this evil... Alright, we're not done yet. I'm not going to move him back. I'm just going to send troops to him, I think. It's the thing. Cav is not useful right now. I can send these two. It'll take him a while to get there. But, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Everyone's getting fair keep there. Let's take these guys. Head somebody here. Everybody to the forts. Alright, so we're gonna... We're gonna attack Chief Dane Kuzumaya, I think. It's, I think it's the play. And then we can come back to the town. Yes. Alright, we outnumber Oh, he's got Warlord Musab as well? Dude, if we destroyed Harad immediately, wouldn't that be insane? If a team loses their faction leader and heir in one fight, don't they just lose? Could you imagine Harad losing in this part of the game? Oh my god. Don't let them any <laughs> that'd be so broken. Harad just becoming a rebel. Oh man, that'd be insane. It's strange they had their factionary and faction leader in one battle in one army. Hey, who am I to argue, right? The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. And we have Knights of the Silver Swan. Yeah. All right, Control M. All right, we are going to definitely try and kill them. We don't get stakes or anything. Make sure no one is using skirmish. Okay, Control I. Infantry! Oh, this, this is good. Also, this is nice. It's desert. Okay. I think that'll do for now. Right, we're gonna focus down their leaders. I want their leaders dead. Right, let's have a look. Serpent Guard are pretty strong, though. Black Snake Guard, as they're called now, I guess. They were called Serpent Guard before. And they get some actual pikemen as well. I mean, the pikes can be a problem, as they usually are. I just gotta kill their leaders. So, uh... Let's hope we can do that. Alright, reposition there. Bloody your spear points. Let's set you up like this. Strange. What are they doing exactly? All right, the archers are firing. Good. Make every shot. Fear nothing and fight well. Let's bring these guys over here. Archer run, I guess. And you guys set up like this. Okay. I mean, if they just want to sit there. Let me shoot them, that's fine. If I could shoot as many of these pikemen dead as possible, that'd be perfect. Spark pikemen don't have don't have shields or anything. That'd be useful. Fortunately, all of Harad's like basic troops got spears or pikes. Which makes it very difficult. As a cab faction, as you might expect. Do we send our Knights of the Silver Swan to the Black Snake Guard? Is that a thing we want to do or no? I mean, we only have 13, he has like 37. 46, okay, because he's his faction leader. There's a faction leader right there, I'm guessing. Alright. Knights of the Silver Swan! We're gonna give him a charge. It's going to be glorious. I hope. 
I mean, with any luck, <laughs> it'll be glorious. Oh, he doesn't like this. Yes! Ah, oh, sweet. I mean, in melee, we should outclass them, but we could also get locked, stun locked, and stuff. I don't think we should fight in there. Oh, geez, we've already lost three. Get out, get out, get out. Please get out. Ooh, okay. I do like the wings on the, uh, on these guys. Pretty cool. Ah, oh, those are militia. Okay. Let's get the flank on them. You guys keep shooting the southern pikemen. No, actually, you shoot them. You shoot them as well. Be oh, go shoot them. You charge my pikemen. Which actually just completely destroyed them. <laughs> oh, dear. But now... It's looking good. We'll leave him there. What's this? Oh shit, I've gone to our cavalry. I wasn't actually aware of that. Lol. <laughs> shit. Nice, javelins, nice. If we continue like well, this, we took some severe casualties to the farmhand pikemen. Which is not ideal, but... It's okay, he's down to six. Uh, get through the, get through the lines. Come on, it's fighting. Okay. He'll regenerate his battalion, I'm not too worried. Just that not lose him is the key. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Ah, if I get pikes. Oh boy. Okay, get this off in their own charge. I think we're okay. Just pull these out. We should wreck the Haradrim archers easily. Actually, if I can get a flank on something, that'd be good. Snake guard are down to two, three, rather. Ah, uh, we got enough cav here to do some damage. This is good. This is good. So we can javelin them. Farmhand pike may be damned. <laughs> Run swiftly! Alright, the archers are down to 13, 10, nice. They're decimated. Excellent. We can get a charge on the southern pikemen, that'd be perfect. One of their leaders is attacking me. Oh, maybe that's, that, that's probably their faction leader. That looks like him. Uh, the other one was the faction heir, because that definitely is a special, special look. Well, I'd imagine in melee we're probably not as good as them. I should pull them out. How are we doing here? Southern Pike are still at 32. I need these dead. If he follows me into the pikes, that'd be good. Come on. There we go. Slay him! Alright, Archer Battalion. I'm gonna use you as melee, I think. I'm gonna ride you up there. What's this? Still working on the faction leader. Ah. I'll send my general after him. This may be a mistake. But if we can get him. Is he retreating? He can't retreat. I hope he can't retreat. That would suck. He 
if he gets away, he's gonna heal, and then he's gonna more, more guys. Right, I do have to get a flank of some kind. I want you to focus them. You focus them. Another militia. Focus them. There's Twelve of you still fighting it out. We're good. Go for a flank. Hopefully they'll be engaged in melee. I'll charge them. How's the general? I'm trying to kill him. He came back. At least we got nice to the silver swarm on him now. If he kills my general though, I'm gonna be very annoyed. <laughs> Come on, bring him down! Oh yeah, beautiful. We should have this in the bag, in theory. Not without some severe casualties. We should have enough troops left after this to take out the next place, I hope. Okay, they're dead. Perfect. And these guys can all... Yeah! Getting Kuzumaya's down! And we gotta kill his stinking air as well. No, 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 he's gonna get away. He must not! We're not gonna catch him, though. Ah, oh, sucks. These guys are not gonna get away. Three of them get away! Ah! Uh, well, in theory, we should be able to, uh... Oh, that's, that's really unfortunate. We, if we would have killed this both of them, we killed killer. them by regicide. Ah, oh, it would have been so good. You know how huge it would have been? 155 from the Gondor Cavalry Militia. Well done. Alright. Well, we killed their leader at the very least. That's not bad. So now someone who less... Adept to being a commander will take over. Which is actually the guy that just got away, of course. Unfortunately. <laughs> but he's not out of the woods yet, is he? Never shall they return. He fled to the town. Protect the blood of Numenor. Well, to the town, to the town, quick! Let us set up camp. Alright, you hid there. That was definitely the right call. I'm saddened that he got away. Ah, oh, that would have been huge. The blood of I feel like I should pull Misfit out of there. Of I don't even think with these two battalions we'll have enough troops. Maybe. I mean, we caused a lot of casualties to them. Did they get defenders? Is that why they had so many troops? I wasn't actually paying attention. That might have happened. Let's so find out next time, won't they? <laughs> Oh dear. Economy wise, it's going okay. It'll get better as we get more buildings. Fort archers, axemen, spearmen. I think this will be useful. But do I want to get something else? Sheep farm would probably be pretty good. So would a port. Let's get a port before a practice range. This is only 800, it's so all the way down. I can get that. I think those troops will be useful. Those farmhand, not farmhand, are they up? Fort guys. Anyway, there we go. A successful battle at killing the Chieftain of Harad. Feels good, man. And of course, we'll hopefully kill their faction leader again soon. <laughs> the next time. Which we'll, I'll be recording right after this. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And hopefully it was enjoyable to watch as always, and I will see you guys in part four of the Dolor North campaign. See you all next time.